morning, everyone. It is 8.45. We are going to make coffee again today. I used pumpkin spice. Take this. And of course, we have to do it in our Sanderson cup. Get this guy. I'm going to shake off. Put this in here now. Oop. This cup, I'm going to pour heavy cream. cream. So I am going to pour in each of these. This one. Bless you, baby. It's the Ernie Cam. What are you doing? Taste this. Ernie Cam, 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 Cam. Um. It's all right. And it's all right. <laughs> Yay! It's perfect. <gasps> no, that's you. You're perfect. No eyes, perfect. No. Oh, yeah, baby, so sweet. Thank you. Ernie scared the heck out of me when he came to give me coffee this morning. I was terrified. But hi guys, beginning of a new vlog. I got these coats from Shein. They're actually like not that bad when you consider, you know, they're from Shein and they're like supposed to be cheap, right? It's kind of itchy on the inside. But like if I took it to the tailor, I'm pretty sure they could like put a lining in it. I wonder how much that would cost. I have no idea. Anyway. I got it in a 4X and a 3X and they were only like $17 each because they were on like super clearance. I don't know why because they looked to be the best out of every other one that I saw there. I don't want a black and white, oh, 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 black and white hound's tooth coat. But what I do want is a charcoal and black one that is reminiscent of Kate Bishop's from Hawkeye. I love her coat. I found her actual coat, but I'm not gonna pay $1,000 for a coat. I don't know if it's actually a thousand dollars. I know it was like really high hundreds. So that might as well be a thousand. I'm not gonna do that. That's insane. Anyway, I'm gonna dye this and make it the color I want it to be. It's hey guys, I haven't vlogged very much this week, basically because we've just been at home the whole time. I did go out one day and I had to like run a bunch of errands. So like filming was not at the top of my priority list. You know what I mean? Anyway, today I'm gonna do what I hate doing. And that is to go through the closets. Her neat side is fine, but I'm gonna need space to get through, get through, get to, whatever, everything that's beneath his clothes, because that's all my stuff. And I really need to downsize and get rid of some things. So this was. Ernie's little square. Uh, he has some shoes in here, but other than that, pretty much everything else is my mess that I've definitely got to clean up. All right, this is everything from the hanging portion and the top shelf over there. That mostly held onesies and coats. Uh, there's there's a lot down here. Nobody to blame but myself, really. <laughs> Alright, so just finished clearing out every single thing. I mopped the floor and I scrubbed the walls down and now it's all clean. And now I gotta deal with all this. I started putting the shoes back. I've cleared out a handful of mine. So I have four pairs of Vans that I'm gonna sell. These are all like basically worn just once or twice. I'm gonna clean them up real good before sending them out to anybody. Assuming anybody buys them, of course. These are like really dirty around the sole, but the outsole, right? Anyway, but the rest of it is still really clean and the insides are just fine. And these ones. I don't think I've ever worn these, actually. 
They're the gray ones. They're so pretty. But since I've had them for two and a half or three years at this point, I still haven't worn them. I'm going to let them go. And have these Hello Kitty ones. They're so cute. Once again, never wore them. I think I wore them just to do the laces and then I never put them on again. But they're really, really cute. And then there's those ones. I did wear these once for sure. They're so cute. But once again, I hardly ever wear them. So off they go. The sweaters are all finally put away. It's still full, but it's looser than it used to be and definitely much neater. Like I said, those are all going and there's definitely gotta be more because I have a lot more to go through. I took a break to have dinner and watch Scream 3. Now time to continue. Ooh, are you gonna do like a spin up montage? Yes, I am. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Thank you. We are all done. That, although it looks scary, don't worry. It's stronger than it looks. Believe me, it holds a lot of stuff. I have to get some rest because Ernie and I need to go get our vaccine booster shots tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm glad this is done. Um, I didn't go through all of the clothes that I have hung because I didn't have time tonight. I'm gonna save that for another day and slowly go through each and every hanger and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. The problem with buying clothes the way I am, the way I have been and the way I usually do, is that I don't wear them now because I don't go out as much and I don't get dressed up as much, but I still get these clothes that I like and that is an utter waste. <laughs> Obviously I have to stop, but then like the content that I want to give you guys, like the different hauls and stuff, I can't do that if I'm not buying clothes. You know, I'm in a hard place right now. So like, what do I do? It's the next morning and we are getting ready. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> to go get our booster shots. Yeah. This is the fit, except not the entirety of the fit. And this is, and for me, this is the not so fit. Neither of us are. Ow, ow, ow! Watch it. Watch, Watch it. it. What do you think you're doing? A quarter coffee. That's the fit. It was cuter before I put the jacket on, but I don't. It's I, adorable! That's a complete fit. <laughs> Let's go get our shot. Yeah. I didn't fix the bed. We didn't fix the bed. No. Why didn't we fix the bed? Because we're going to go face plant that bed. Yes. Go. vlog 
it's a day later. I got my booster shot yesterday. Holding it with this one, I'm actually gonna hurt, so I'm gonna switch. <laughs> um, I got home yesterday, and at around one, I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I just went to sleep, and I slept until almost five o'clock, and then I like took a Tylenol PM at around 8.30, and nine o'clock I was out, and then I woke up at 9 a.m. So I slept for 12 straight hours, and let me tell you, I feel much better, much better than I did yesterday. I definitely got a lot of flu symptoms after getting the shot, but I feel 100% better now, back to normal. And I gotta start editing this vlog. So I have my skull mug here that I'm obsessed with. I also have this in black. I got it for like $5 at HomeGoods. The closest HomeGoods to me is like 35, 40 minutes away. Which is further than I usually drive. I don't really leave my area very often, but home goods is worth it. I'm just using some Stoke coffee. This is the unsweet, what is it? Bright and mellow one. This is my favorite one that they make, aside from the pumpkin spice, but this, this is great. And I switch up my coffee creamers all the time. This time I'm using the silk almond creamer. It's just a sweet cream. And I'm gonna get started doing everything that I gotta do today. This time, our booster shot was, because of when I first got the vaccine, one was in San Francisco, and another one was in Half Moon Bay, which is like further off away, and there's like only two ways to get there, depending on like which way you're coming from. By the way, it's a really pretty drive. But this time, we were able to go to a CVS in Target, really close by, and I was looking at all the Target stuff that they have. Not all the Target stuff that they have, obviously, Target has Target stuff. All the Valentine's Day things that they were coming out with um, for like, cooking and stuff. And it started getting me thinking of back in 2020 when I made scones and I made them into little heart shapes and then I took them to Ernie's work on Valentine's Day to surprise him during lunch. And I think that was my last big go into the city alone day that I've had since 2020. <laughs> These last few years have really been taken away from all of us, hasn't it? One funny thing that I remember from that day is I was on BART, that's the train thing for the Bay Area, and I got on, I was wearing my white dress with like little red hearts on it for Valentine's Day and stuff. I was wearing a jean jacket, I had my backpack on with like all the stuff inside, and this girl on the train asked me if I wanted her seat, and I was like, no, that's okay, but thank you. And then I look up, I notice that she's sitting in like one of the seats that are like supposed to be reserved for pregnant women, and I was like, oh! Ow! What? I look pregnant? And then, then I was like, yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do. Okay. Yeah, that stuck with me. Did it kickstart me into losing weight? No, it did not. Baby steps. I'll get there. Eventually. Next week, I'm going to try out the laser thing on my face and my chin hairs and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited to get rid of the chin hairs. I know it's going to take a few months at the very least, but I'm looking forward to not having to tweeze all the hairs out of my chin. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.